Hey, friends and family. Um, I try not to um, make videos um, when I'm upset or stressed out, and I'm often stressed out. Um, it's kind of just kind of the nature of um, being a single mom and uh, and having uh, special needs people to look after. You're always stressed. Sorry about that. Um, and um, I am struggling. It's you know I'm not a stranger to life not being fair. Um, you know, I know that the world has lots of bitter, angry people and they are looking for somebody to blame for the problems in their life. And they're often blaming the wrong people, um, people who are poor and who have no power to affect their lives you know, for the most part, um, except for maybe, um, doing a, a dirty job you don't want to do. Um, they tried hiring Americans to like pick things in the field and, uh, your average American can't, can't cope with that. And, uh, so, <laughs> uh, yeah, so, <laughs> you know, and, and I got to say, I probably couldn't do it either. You know, that's, that's hard work. Um, and a lot harder than, uh, you know, doing something like driving a truck or, you know, I, I mean, uh, uh, and I'm, 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 I'm struggling because these people, these bitter, angry, hate-filled people who are looking for people to blame and people to, to hurt like they're hurting, you, you know, um, because their lives aren't perfect. Um, these are, these are people that I love. Um, <laughs> and some of these are people that I used to respect. And I've just, I, I've just gotten where I, I can't, I, I just, I'm just, I've just, I've just gotten to the point where I've just, I've got to cut them out. I've, I've got, I've, I can't, I can't handle this constant hate being thrown at me. I, I got, I got my own mother to hate me, you know, just, just fine. Okay. My mother is one of these bitter, angry, hate filled people who blames all the wrong people for what's wrong with her life. Okay. Instead of taking a good look at herself and cause none of these people made her a junkie. None of these people made her abuse drugs while she was a teenager and an, and an adult, you, you know, and none of these people gave her all the issues that she has that she, you know, tries to act like she don't have. Okay. And I live far, far away from her so that she is not a constant disruption in my life. Okay, she's still my mom. I still love her. But do I respect her? Not exactly. Uh, she's, she's, you know, I do my best to be respectful to her when she's speaking, even when she is saying crazy, outlandish shh shite that don't make no sense and basically when she does that I cut the conversations short um, bye mom I love you I gotta go you, you, you know uh, I got things to do I, you, you know and I rarely call her because you can't you can't have a normal conversation with her and it's getting to where I am finding that she's not the only one you can't have a normal conversation with and who she's not the only one that ignores facts 
<laughs> you know, if it's an alternative fact, it's a lie. Okay. Lie. That's what it is. Facts are facts and facts are the truth. Okay. And an alternative fact is a lie. That's what that is. It's a lie. And uh, trying to call it something else does not change the fact that it is a lie. Oh my goodness. And I am just finding myself cutting myself off from people that I've known for years and that are related to me and, and, and uh, you, you know, and that I, I just, cause I can't listen to crazy stuff. This sounds like my mother. Okay. If you, you have begun to sound like my mother who is totally cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs and not in a nice way, I don't want to deal with you. I deal with my mother because she's my mom. You're not my mom. I do not have to have you in my life. I don't even have to have her in my life. And I've made that perfectly clear to her. There has been years that went by that I didn't speak to her because she couldn't be reasonable. No. And I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm done with certain things with certain, I can't, I can't, I'm, 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 I'm drowned in, in people's toxicity. And I, I, I got my, I, you know, I'm doing the best I can here. And I am not going around looking for people to blame for my life not being perfect. Okay. My parents are who they were. And maybe they didn't give me the greatest start in life. But you know what? There comes a point in time in, in your life when you are responsible for you. And all these other people, it, it's, it's, their, their, their little drops in the oceans, their little ripples are, are not getting to you. You know, just because somebody's not the same religion as you and doesn't pray the way you pray doesn't make them a bad person. And I've gotten to the point now where all this hate over people, over, over religions is just, is just turning me into an atheist because Cause, cause any God that, that I think exists does not condone hatred, does not condone hurting people because they don't think and walk and look and talk exactly the same way you do. Okay. And if I'm going to hell because I'm not practicing a religion or because I'm not practicing the right, right, right religion, so be it. That's my problem. And it is not your job to try and fix me. Because the only person who can fix me is me. And I can't fix you. And if you're doing and saying things that hurt me, well, my fix for that is I will no longer have you as part of my life. And that hurts my heart. And her. But that's the only way I really know how to deal with it. Because if you can't listen to facts, if you cannot be reasonable, if you are not willing to listen when somebody is trying to tell you, hey, those <laughs> that's not the way you think it is. Those people are not the way you think they are. You know, um, and I've had some really hard times and in my life, but they're not some buddy's fault who's, who's not practicing my religion or not practicing a religion at all, or they came from another country and made my life harder, you know, via, it's, no, it's not their fault. Our country is just screwed. And all I can do is the things that I believe are going to help make it better. That's all I can do. That's all I can do. And if you're operating out of hate and anger and bitterness, 
and ignoring real facts, ignoring the truth, then the fact that your life is so screwed up, that's your fault. And if you're a grown person and you're continuing to live like if all your problems are the cause of somebody else, then you deserve what you're suffering through. You're making it that way. And um, if you need to talk and you want to talk reasonably, you can call me. But don't call me and try to browbeat me with some alternative facts. that are being thrusted out there by a bunch of hate-filled bigots. I don't want it. You keep that mess to yourself. And if you can't keep it to yourself, then I just can't have you in my life. And I'm not going to be sorry about it because I got to do what's best for me and my family. And all I can do is pray for you. Won't stop loving you. And I do wish that you will eventually find peace within yourself. <laughs>